please subscribe us on YouTube and turn on the notification bell. To get latest video upload from CADX. Today we will continue with design of fixture. These are the basic elements of the fixture. Base structure. Rest pads. Arrestor or locating pins. Clamping devices. Work supports. Lest understand base structure and its design. Base can be welded or cast, and should be suitably ribbed for high rigidity so as to avoid any distortion due to cutting forces during operation. Proper slopes to be provided on the base structure such that chips should not accumulate. Should be stress relieved to avoid any distortion over a period of time. Reference machining slash geometrical accuracies to be maintained to check the alignment on the machine. Internal piping to be preferred to avoid chip accumulation. Reference hole to be generated on base structure for programming purpose. Side arrestors to be provided for positioning and quick change of fixture. This is the example of base structure. Where a slop is provided for chips removal also there are ribs or gusset for rigidity. Integral piping and its manifold. The second most important element of fixture is rest pad. There should be minimum three rest pads to be provided to form a plane. Auxiliary rest pads to be provided, keeping 5 to 10 microns below the resting surface, to avoid the distortion of the component. For roughing operations, the rest pads should be relieved to avoid chip accumulation on resting surface. Slopes to be provided on rest pad to avoid the chip accumulation. For finishing operation, resting area should be maximum of 15 diameter. Air sensing and cleaning hole to be provided for confirmation of component resting properly. Spacer below the rest pad to be provided to maintain geometrical and dimensional accuracies. Rest pad material should be hardened and ground 56 to 58 HRC. These are rest pads. Left side rest pads are with air sensing a minute hole is provided with leak testing gauge. When job is placed then air is allowed to pass through that hole. If pressure drops or leakage happens then the face of job is not properly rest. Right hand side figure is of long rest pad. Observe these concept and implement in your design. Third element of fixture is. Locating pin or arrestor and rough locators. Locating pin should be hardened and ground. Locating pin to be fixed or retractable type depending upon size and weight of the component. Size and tolerance of round slash diamond locating pin to be determined on the basis of part hole dimension and center distance tolerance and accuracies to be achieved. Orientation of round and diamond pin to be maintained. Bullet head or good lead chamfer to be provided for easy loading of the component. Locating pin with flange type or cylinder. Location to be designed and fixed directly or from the other side. Side clamping should be avoided. Pin breakage detection by air sensing can be provided. For higher accuracies hydraulic operated, collar type, locating pins to be provided. Slopes to be provided to avoid the chip accumulation. As shown in figure it is an example of ideal pin design. Slopes to be provided to avoid the chip accumulation. Groove slash flat to be provided on the pin for air escapement. Rough locator to be provided for easy loading and unloading of the component. Fool proofing to be provided to make sure that the component is loaded properly. Arrestor if required to be provided. The fourth and most important element of fix rear is. Clamping systems. Clamping should be against rest pad. Clamp should be rigid enough to take care of cutting forces generated during operation. For clamping on rough cast slash forged surface. Serrated, hardened pad should be used. For clamping on machine surface, soft pad should be used. Material of the clamp should be toughened. Clamping point should be replaceable type. Clamping force should be adjustable so as to avoid distortion of the component. Hinge type clamps should be lubricated by self lubricated bushes or external lubrication. Swing type or toggle type or direct actuation cylinders to be used considering the clamping point or ease of loading. For hydraulic fixtures, clamping confirmation to be taken by pressure switch and limit switch. Closely observe this design. It has serrated clamp with float. The final element is. Work supports. 
it can be manual slash hydraulic slash pneumatic depending on the type of the fixture. For thin section component, pneumatic fixture with pneumatic work support is preferred. Clamping can be provided directly above the work support.